Using drone data, I've noticed this area of mangrove dieback at one of my local beaches, but I'd like to know when it actually occurred. And I'm going to show you how we can use satellite data and a time series of data to pinpoint exactly when it happened. So here's our final product. This is what it's going to look like. This is a time series of Sentinel data, and you can see the area of mangrove dieback in here. We're looking at the dates and we'll be able to pinpoint exactly when it occurred. There we go. It was at around about September 2020. So let's now look at how we've created this. We're going to go to a website called sentinel-hub.com and then come on over to explore and open their EO or Earth Observation browser. Now you will need to create yourself a free account for this to work, but it's perfectly easy to do. So just jump on right in and create yourself an account. So what we need to do then is to navigate to the area that we're interested in looking at. So I'm going to come all the way over to Australia. And of course, I could look at using the search function there, but I'm just going to zoom into it here and come all the way in just north of Cairns, which is the beach that I showed you just a moment ago using the drone data. Now, as we navigate our way in, this is around the area that I'm interested in. So now I'm going to pop on over to the left hand side and I've got Sentinel-2 data selected. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and I'm going to change the date range to January 2020 to start with. And then I'm just going to hit search. So once I do that, it's going to bring up a range of different images that I can visualize within that date range. I'm just going to pick the first one. It doesn't really matter too much, but what I want to now do is to select the color combinations that I'm going to use for this display. So it is automatically using a true color composition, which means that trees look green. So green light is displayed as green, red is red, blue is blue. But what I tend to find is when we're really trying to figure out where this mangrove area is, it works really well if I use the standard false color composite. So you can really see that area pop out now. So what we're looking at is the healthy vegetation appears red. This is reflecting near infrared light being displayed as red. Red light is being displayed as green and blue light and green light is being displayed as blue. So here we go. I hope you can see the area of mangrove die back. And the next thing that we want to do is to be able to make a time series of that to figure out when it's occurred. So over on the right hand side, we've got our film strip over here. So we're going to click on that and then just simply press play to create a time lapse of the area. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is to rechange that time period that I'm looking at. And we're going to look at January 2020 all the way through to today. Now, what I want to do is because that's quite a long period of time, I'm just going to select one image per month and I can always go in and fine tune that if I like, but I don't want to overload it by having too many images. Once I've done that, I'm going to hit search again and see what I come up with. Now on the left hand side, you'll see a range of different images. And if I quickly scroll down, they're looking pretty good, but I do see that there is, there's some with some cloud on it. So I might want to just pop this one down and drop this down to let's say about 10%. We still might need to filter out other data sets if we need to as well. So it's looking quite good. There we go. We've got our series of images just there now. And if there's any that you don't want in there, you can always tick them off as you go. Now I like to increase the frame rate here. So I'm going to play it at speed two and let's have a look. So we're going to press play and we'll see those images cycle through as we watch the date change and we can see the growth of our mangrove die back there. And as I flick through this, I can see that there's a couple of points that I don't really like the imagery. So that one I don't particularly like. That's a little bit too much cloud over my particular area. And the next one is a little bit too much cloud shadow. So I'm going to remove both of those and then continue to play that and check that it all looks good. When you're happy with what you've got, all you need to do is hit download. And there we go. You'll end up with your, with your time series GIF that you can share on socials.